guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I have a lot of things to share this week. Um, I just couldn't narrow it down. It was just a really good makeup week, like trying lots of new goodies and really enjoying them all. So I didn't want to like hold back on the makeup goodness. I wanted to share it with you so that you can share in the makeup excitement with me. So lots of things to talk about. Um, I don't have a nail favorite this week though, so that will save us some time, but I do have a fooey that I want to talk about. So anyway, lots to talk about. Um, how was your week? We had a great week. It was busy, but it was a good one again, so that's good. Um, let me know how your week was, your weekend plans, all those things, but first, let's get into the favorites. Okay, let's start with blushes because I'm absolutely obsessed with these. So I blame and or thank my friend Ashley from Texas Mommy of Boys for this purchase. Um, and a little side note, if you don't watch Ashley's channel, you are totally missing out. First off, she is so cute, so funny, so entertaining. Her videos just put a smile on my face. I love her channel, but she is also an awesome person and she has been an amazing friend to me. So I just genuinely love her. So you need to totally check out her channel if you don't watch her already. But anyway, we were talking about the MAC Novel Romance Collection. And I was going to be good. I wasn't even going to go look at it. I wasn't even trying to look up swatches. And she totally convinced me to go look. And she was right. I love these. Okay, so I ended up getting both of the blushes from the collection. And they're both incredible. So this one is Animal Instincts. And this one is Fun Ending. Ridiculous names, but awesome blushes. And I'm wearing them both today. Oh, I love them. Okay. They're beautiful individually. This one is gorgeous by itself. This one is gorgeous by itself. And they're beautiful together. So it's like three pri three blushes for the price of two, you know? I was going to say three prices for the two. For the, I don't even know. I don't even know. Whatever. Okay. So this one is like a really nice maroon color. This one's Animal Instincts. I wondered how this would work for me. I thought it was going to be too muddy and just make me look like I had dirty cheeks, you know? But no, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I think this is going to be lovely for fall. I mean, just the perfect mauvey, plummy sort of a cheek. Just oh, awesome. And this one is a frost. But I wouldn't say it's a frost. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. But it's not like, you know, weird looking cheeks. So this one is fun ending. It's just a really nice light pink. This is the one that Ashley said she is head over heels for. One of her very favorite blushes she owns now. And she just thinks it's a, it is amazing. And it is amazing. It's a light pink, but it almost seems like a cool toned light pink, but not like a bubble gum cool toned pink. It's It's got some mauve to it and it's got a sheen this is a satin, so it has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it catches the light, but it's just got a little bit of mauve undertones, and I think that's why they go so well together, because this is kind of like the deep tone of plum, and then this one's kind of like the lighter version, but way more pink. I don't know. They just go. They just go together, and they're just beautiful by themselves, too. I absolutely love these blushes. I am so glad she told me to go check them out. Ashley, girl, you were totally right. I love them. Okay, for eyeshadow, I have three favorites, so we're gonna run through these quickly. So the first one is one of the new Wet n Wild Quince um, from their fall collection. I just put up a video on the fall collection and also the summer collection on Monday, so I'll link that down below, and I have blog posts on all these, so I'll link that too. But. This is one of my very favorites. This is Smoke and Melrose. <sighs> so pretty. Which actually, um, Ashley put up a video on this one specifically, like a um, tutorial comparing this with the Naked 3. So that's an awesome video to check out. So this one, I'm just going to quickly swatch just a couple. You can watch my videos, look up my blog to see like more in-depth swatches. But this is a beautiful palette beautiful. I keep getting little bits of eyeshadow built up there. Anyway, just awesome pigmentation, such pretty bronzy, coppery, maroon, burgundy kind of shades. It's such a gorgeous. 
palette. I love it. Not to mention, it's super affordable. So check out my videos on that, um, my video, and then I'll have a tutorial going up on a different one, a different quint, um, I think this weekend. But anyway, check out those videos, check out my blog post, and you can see sw more swatches of everything, but I love that one, it's so pretty. So I bought some eyeshadow palettes this week. Shocker. <laughs> if there's anything I have a hard time resisting in the makeup world, it's palettes. This is no surprise. So the first one that I got is the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. I love it. It's beautiful. I'm wearing it um, kind of as transition shades today. It's so pretty. I don't know what that noise was. I don't know. <laughs> it's just beautiful. It's taupey. It's neutral. It's matte. Yeah. I have a blog post on this palette and I also show some comparisons between this one and the first Naked Basics palette. So I'll link that down below for you. But this one is more cool toned. That one is more warm toned on the matte neutral basic eyeshadow range. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's just, it's great. It's a great neutral palette. The shadows perform really nicely. They're beautiful, they're beautifully pigmented. You know, if if you're asking me which one I would choose of this one the, or the first one, I don't know. I like them both. I think it kind of depends on what you're going for and what I'm going for that day is kind of how I pick which one's my favorite. Um, because I like warm tone neutral looks and I also like cool tone. So whatever I'm going for is which one I'm gonna grab, you know? But you can see they're just, amazingly pigmented. They're awesome to work with. They're really, really great. So I love that one. That was my first palette purchase this week. And then I was working at Sephora the other day and I swatched this palette and I got sucked in. <laughs> I was not going to get this palette. I don't know why, but it just, it really didn't interest me all that much. But after swatching it, I fell in love with it. I really did because I love doing a light lid because I really feel like it opens up your eyes and it's just so pretty and these swatch very well I'll show you and I think I was kind of hesitant until I swatched it um, I mean look at that oh, did you see my eyes whoa <laughs> so awesome I think I was hesitant about it because some of the recent palettes from Too Faced, the lighter shades just have not performed well. They've been like kind of chunky and just, they haven't done well. Chunky glitter and they're not very pigmented, just not good. And these are good. They are very good. And this one in the middle here is almost my skin tone, which is perfect for a matte brow bone highlight. Love them. Oh, so the, the light shades were what really sucked me in. Once I swatched them, I was hooked. And I am wearing this look today, or this palette today, with um, this kind of pinky color and this sort of purpley color. And I think I dabbed a little bit of this on my lid too. Beautiful. Oh, let me swatch these for you. And supposedly um, the ones on the side, on this side, are wet dry shadows. What am I doing? <laughs> what? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood today. You'll have to excuse me. But those, you're supposed to be able to do them wet and dry. I almost did it again. Um, but I haven't done them wet, so I'm sure that they're nice that way. But anyway, I'm wearing the kind of purpley shades. And yeah, they work really well. No complaints. I definitely love this palette, so I would recommend it if you've kind of been looking at it and eyeing it. It's great. It performs well. It wears well. They're easy to work with. Pretty shades. Are they dupable? Probably. You know, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of eyeshadow out there, so probably you could find things in your collection that are similar, but how many, like, cheetah print 
eyeshadow palettes can you find with really nice eyeshadows inside. So I'm super excited about it. I've been loving it. And then for lips, one of my favorites is what I'm wearing right now. And I use this same combination in a tutorial that will be coming soon using the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. So I did film something for you guys, so you can watch for that. But I use this lip combo and I loved it. Okay, so this one is Max Plumful. I've had this one for a while and I kind of, I wouldn't say I forget about it. I would say I underestimate it because I kind of forget how much I really do like it. And I like it more when I wear it with a lip liner because it is a, yeah, it's a luster. So I feel like it's a little bit difficult to get a nice crisp line with it um, because of the formula. But I just wear it with a lip liner and then I really like it a lot more. So this is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry and it works perfectly with it. Like it is almost the exact same color. Isn't that pretty? Such a perfect pairing. I just love them. And Plumful is, it's like dipping your toe into berry lips. You know, if you are wanting to go more for the berry lips for fall, but it's a little bit intimidating for you, you're not sure if you're ready to commit to all that, Plumful is a great one to try out because Again, it's a luster, so it's not super duper pigmented and matte and overwhelming to use. It's not as scary. It's it's a very it's a very friendly lipstick shade <laughs> to get used to. Um, but I just really really enjoy it. It's comfortable to wear, and it's just such a pretty berry shade for fall. And then I pulled out one of my Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks that I've kind of forgotten about, um, or it could be one of those colors that maybe I got and I swatched it and I thought, oh, that's so pretty, and then maybe didn't wear it, which is awful. But I don't remember this being so incredible. This is the Mega Last Lipstick in Cherry Picking. Oh my goodness. You gotta be ready for a bold lip with this one. You gotta, you gotta be ready to commit all the way with this lipstick. If you are scared of something like this, go with Plumful. But if you are ready to go all the way with your lipstick and full on, this one is awesome. I mean, it is super opaque, super pigmented, creamy, comfortable to wear, and a dollar ninety-nine. I mean, what else could you want? And it's just like an awesome matte red. It's so pretty. And I feel like it's one of those reds, it's a very snow white red. And, you know, I, I, clearly, I'm super pale. <laughs> and I feel like it's one of those reds that really complements my skin tone because I feel like some reds overtake my face where when you look at me, it's like, whoa, red lip. And I still wear those red lips. Don't get me wrong, I still wear those. but. This one, it's still like she's wearing a red lip, but I feel like it kind of adds to me rather than taking away from me, if that makes sense. It, kind of, it goes, and I feel like it's just because it's a Snow White blush, it looks good on almost white, like a piece of paper white skin. <laughs> I think it'd be beautiful on any skin tone, but I just kind of have to watch which reds I go with and I feel like this one works for me and I just love the formula on these. They are so good, so inexpensive and just awesome. And then for my Fooey, it's this little sample from Caudalie. This is the Overnight Detox Oil. This smells horrific. <laughs> it's so bad. So bad. I went to use it the other night I can't smell it. Now, I'm afraid to open it. I don't want to smell it anymore. <laughs> I went to use it the other night and I was literally almost gagging. I had to go get my washcloth and instantly wash it off. I could not handle it. It may be an incredible face oil that does awesome things for your skin, but I just cannot handle the stank that goes along with it. <laughs> cannot. I feel like so many of my fooies revolve around smell. And if you have a sensitive nose and you're like me, then I'm probably a good person 
to watch because I talk a lot about stinky products. <laughs> Literally stinky because I just, oh, especially a skincare thing, it's all over your face. So I don't know. I'm sure this is a lovely oil that does awesome things, but I just can't handle it. My sense of smell is too strong. Can't see for poop, but my sense of smell is awesome. So cannot handle stinky products. All right guys, so those are all my favorites and my fooey for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And as always, I wanna know what you have been loving this week. Um, did you grab anything from the novel romance collection? Did you cave almost immediately and get the Naked Basics 2 palette like me? Um, just let me know your thoughts on any of these products or anything else that you've been loving this week. Um, and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'd love to have you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!